The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody, on this Monday morning, D-Day, June the 6th, and it's very oppressive out here this morning. What do I mean by oppressive? It's 75 degrees with a dew point of 73 at 420 in the morning. And um, I don't know about your yard, but uh, my yard is really green after all the rain that it just loved over the weekend, and we're not done with the rain yet. Colin got stronger overnight. Tropical Storm Colin, I have the latest from the National Hurricane Center coming up. It won't have a direct effect on our weather, but it, you might say it might have an indirect effect on our weather because we'll, we'll be sandwiched between a frontal system near us and the moisture coming up from Colin. More on that coming up. And a very interesting uh, video for you this morning as we look at the week ahead. If you're ready, here's your morning weather briefing. It's a good one today. Very active map this morning. There's the front just north of the Montgomery area, which will be the catalyst for showers and thunderstorms today. There's Colin to the south into the Gulf of Mexico, getting a little stronger, aiming at Florida with uh, tropical storm warnings in effect along the uh, west coast of Florida from about, let's say, Sarasota to around Apalachicola, and then also along the east coast of Florida and up in through uh, the southeast Atlantic coast. So uh, here comes Colin with an, uh, tropical storm conditions in Florida later on this morning. There's the cone showing that the storm will be off the coast tomorrow morning and moving into the open Atlantic, but not too far off the southeast coast. Here's future radar for Florida showing the heavy rain and bands and showers uh, coming into Florida today into the west coast where there could be up to eight inches of rain and then uh, spreading across even into the panhandle in southeast Georgia. So it's going to be a close call. Uh, our rain will actually be kind of an interaction between the front and the moisture around Collin. So I guess there'll be some indirect effect, you might say, from us, and certainly in the wiregrass there will be, uh, with increasing winds, especially into the wiregrass and uh, into North Florida. Scattered showers and thunderstorms to us, uh, for us, most likely by the afternoon and evening hours. High around 87 tonight, slow 69. The showers uh, tapering off later on tonight. Here's 7 o'clock tonight. Boy, that's so close for comfort, too close for comfort for us. Just south of Apalachicola is where Colin will be um, uh, at that hour. And then 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, it'll be, uh, you know, right around Jacksonville, Florida, moving into the Atlantic Ocean by then. And I think by Wednesday, it's out of here. And uh, we get into sunshine, lower humidity. Uh, I think um, we have some nice midweek weather, then heating up later in the week, uh, some pretty excessive temperatures later in the week. As a matter of fact, a big ridge of high pressure building in the upper atmosphere means uh, a lot of heat by the end of the week. Where do you see some of the numbers here? First of all, here is the European out 10 days. We can see uh, some increasing temperatures well up in the 90s later on this week. The next chance of rain will be after the weekend. I think we're dry through the weekend, probably early part of next week. Here are some of the numbers on the European. Uh, they're showing 96 on Saturday. I think that's easy. 97 Sunday, certainly possible. Where do you see the numbers now on the uh, the GFS? <laughs> Crazy numbers. I don't believe those numbers. 102, 104, one, you know, 103. The point is it's going to be very hot as we get towards the weekend and into the early part of next week. So get ready, folks, for some heat. Boy, I hope you join me later on this morning. We will have a live update from the Blue Water Weather Center. We have a TV studio inside the radio station with a couple of cameras and a weather computer. Our live update at 11 a.m. at richthomasweathernetwork.com will have the latest information from the National Hurricane Center, the latest future radar for us, the latest on what's going on in the Gulf of Mexico and how it could have an indirect effect on Alabama. All of that coming up at 11. I'll be live on the radio this starting at 6 o'clock this morning on News Talk 93.1 and Bama Country and KISS FM. And I'll see you on the radio and your next video will be online tomorrow morning at 5. Okay? See you later. Rich Thomas Weather.